is 4 a.m. and we're leaving for Pens not Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Hey people. So we've been on the road for almost two hours. And we're at McDonald's right now. That's why my dog's flailing around because McNuggets are her favorite. But we're getting just a little bit of breakfast. I don't really know what we're getting, to be honest with you. But it's been a really smooth ride. I'm in a ton of pain, but that's it. I mean, that sounds awful saying that, but at least I'm not sick. Or like, feel sick to my stomach, so yay! And, um, it's just starting to get light. And I've been, like, texting with my friends. And it's just been really fun so far. But my parents talk to each other the entire 12 hours. It's disgustingly adorable. I don't even know what they talk about, but they just talk for 12 hours straight. They're like each other's best friends. It's ridiculous. The dogs are being so good. Of course, my dog, as long as she's attached to me, she doesn't care. And Charlie's sleeping up front, and the two terriers are in the back panting right now. But they just sleep the rest of the time. Um, what else can I update you on? I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog the ride much more, but I'm just on my iPad and my phone and just keeping my mind occupied. So, just trying to keep my Bella. It's freaking freezing in the car because my dad is... What else? Is it weird to say a polar bear? Mm -hmm. He's like a polar bear, and he just, like, needs cold, and so it's freezing in the car. That's why I'm trying to get hat on. So, um, but if I don't check in with you again in the car, I will definitely check in with you when I get home. So, yeah. It's a fun follow-me vlog. Follow me, Fabro. It's going okay so far. Look at those beautiful eyes. Look at those beautiful brown angelic eyes. I love them. Hi guys, it's gas station. We're out of Florida though. We're in Georgia. And I want to go to sleep. I'm tired. Oh, and the puppies are crying. Entering into the worlds of public humongous restrooms is very frightening for me and I refuse to wash my hands in there so I bring my own soap because I just feel like people have died in those restrooms it's my least favorite part of traveling not that there's really a favorite part of mine yuck but get ready back in the car and we're gonna get back on the road we're in georgia yeah yeah talk to you later so just while i think things are this is like this cool new pen that i got to use on my touch screen stuff so i don't get fingerprints all over them anywho just while i think that things are going swimmingly i'm just an enormous amount of pain which is fine at least i'm not sick and all that but I just used the restroom, and I don't know, th this is like a fibro, but it's it uh, feels like um, UTI symptoms. It's like, I call it bladder irritation, and it's my crib tonight. And I'm having extreme bladder irritation, so I am not going to be a happy, nice person until this stops. And it must stop, and I do not want to be trapped in the car. Yeah, I hear you, Charles. I hear ya. Charlie's freaking out. I, I feel him. I feel his pain. Oh, this is awful. Hi, hey guys. So, um, excuse my scarf that I have on in bed. It's freezing in my house because it's freezing in the state. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I'm going to do a two-day vlog because... I am so ill, but I was trying to record this for posterity. I don't know why I'm recording this. Uh, I am so sick, so 
Um, that's what else? What did I? Why? What did I want to say? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just really sick. So I'll pick up tomorrow and upload then. I'll talk to you soon. I wish you could see how bloodshot my eyes are. I'm not crying. I don't know. Why am I still recording? Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. You don't say that my person is home. And I'm so allergic to her. She's so allergic to me, but I won't stop rubbing up against her legs and crying all night long. All night, all night, all night. You know I'm as bad as I look like my human. Yeah. You're just one happy kitty, aren't you? Come here. This my boy. This is my boy. Yeah. That's my boy. Oh my gosh, my nails are so sharp. Hi, Wheelie. I know. I'm excited to see you as well. Hey guys, so I guess it wasn't the end of the video. Um, I actually don't know what time it is. I think it's like 2 in the morning or something. But what I wanted to say was, first of all, like, I have type A personality and I'm very obsessive. I have, like, OCD thinking and I have some behaviors that are OCD. And one of my things is, like, unpacking right away. But I am so sick that it just is too much. But I try to do, oh my gosh, just thinking about it makes me, like, have a wave of, like, nausea. But I tried to do that, and then I was like, finally going to sit down and rest, watch TV, or play my game on my iPad or something, and the internet went out. It's like normal thing, whatever. But it just, it's those little simple things that happen where you really, like, think to yourself, wow, I'm really different. I'm, like, I'm very different than the person that I used to be. Um, for example, I wanted to call the cable company to see, that's like sometimes they have a message about the internet being out or whatever, and I could not for the life of me remember our cable company. Like, I couldn't. So I just called one that I knew that I've seen commercials for, and then I hung up on the guy when he finally was like, Ma'am, we just can't find your account. And I was just like, gosh, have I gotten this stupid? Oh, it's just maddening. And I, I mean, it's so simple, your cable company. I mean, I've called them a bazillion times. And I cannot even remember it. And that's, that makes me feel stupid. And, like, all the information that I've learned or something is now just fading away on my brain. That really sucks. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to say goodbye because I think that I'm going to vlog tomorrow and upload this tomorrow. Um, yeah. So, again, if you're the praying type, please pray for me. It was a rough drive. Hi guys, so I am just going to wrap this up. It is 5.30 the next day. I am in excruciating pain, yet I can't take, and I can't even take a Tylenol because I'll throw it up. So I'm just throwing up pretty much every hour and just completely ill. Yeah. I got into this thinking of like, oh, I just wish I was one of those people that could like, get a night's sleep in and then jump up and go out and see their friends the next day and because I'm dying to freaking see my friends because I used to be able to do that and then I was like you know what I'm just blessed to have friends and be able to communicate with them you know and chit chat with them and text I've been sleeping like on and off just like really just really sick sleeping it just feels like there's poison in my veins if you have fiber, you know what that means. 
I call it the creepy crawlies. So I can't really stay still for very long, which sucks because if you're in pain, like that's all you want to do. But it's just, it's like torture. It's, a, it's like a form of torture, really. But uh, no, I just, you know, I just had to stop thinking that way because it was like, a, oh, poor me kind of thing. And it's like, you know, this is going to pass and then I'll be able to see my friends. Yeah, I just had to get out of that thinking of like, you know, because I could just be stuck at home with no friends, you know, but I have my friends on YouTube, I have my friends on Second Life, who are really my family, and then I have my friends here that are like family. I'm very blessed. So I, I have to really, I have to snap myself out of thinking that way when I get that way because this is not right and it will pass. Like that's what I have to remember. Even if it's for a day or an hour, you know, like to, one of my friends can come over and I can cry hysterically because it, I, it's coming. I will cry hysterically when I see each of you. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be back in North Carolina, but I won't be seeing anyone in the near future and I just made about ten no five doctor's appointments at least not exaggerating I think five I'm like looking at my list five doctor's appointments and I have anxiety around appointments not just doctors just any kind of appointment whatsoever so that was giving me a ton of anxiety and just have to look forward to that the couple, next couple weeks, getting back in the swing of things, because all my doctors are here in North Carolina. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. I am uh, feeling really in a lot of pain, so I'm going to go. hope you guys are doing great. So now, X-double-O's, and as always, I will talk to you tomorrow.